Hello everyone. My name is Ashish and I'm a junior doctor working in the UK. Today's video will be very important for students who are in their pre-final or final year of medical college. So please go through this video and try to implement the advice which is given in this video. And this will help you a lot in your career further on. If you support my work on YouTube, you can do so on by clicking on the like button sharing this video with your friends and subscribing to this channel. So let's start this video. First of all, why am I making this video? If you look at the exams in the UK, which are PLAB exams or membership exams like MRCP or MRCS or fellowship exams like FRCS, you'll see that the weightage of pre-final and final year subjects is quite a lot. This is unlike the weightage of preclinical subjects as in the US MLEs, and this is very different in the UK. So what can we do about this fact? The best tip which I can give to all the medical students is to improve on their knowledge of pre-final and final year subjects. This will make your journey of entry into UK post-graduation training very easy. So try to work hard to learn these subjects well and this will also help you improve your university exam scores at the same time it will make you very confident about facing multiple exams in the UK and you'll be very less scared of these subjects which I'm talking about includes majors like medicine surgery preventive and social medicine ops and gynae and pediatrics Apart from these, they include minor subjects, like dermatology, psychiatry, orthopedics, ophthalmology, and ENT. To improve the knowledge of these subjects, I worked very hard to read all the textbooks of these subjects very, very well. And I'll share you all the books which I read during my final year of medical college at Ames so that you can read these textbooks as well and can improve your knowledge so that later on, when you try to get entry into UK post-graduation system, then you won't have so much problem and you'll be much more confident. So let's start with talking about these books. First of all, for internal medicine, I highly recommend Harrison's principle of internal medicine. Now I read most of internal medicine topics from here and this book took me almost one and a half years to finish but it was worth it because this book con contains a lot of information about pathophysiology of diseases and it describes the treatment well so you get an overall picture of disease and its management so this book is highly recommended if you're not able to go through whole of this book because of lack of time then there is a short version of this book available in form of a handbook so you can consider that as well the next one in internal medicine is Kaplan medical master the boards USMLE step 2 CK now, this is a very short and concise book for reading medicine and it accurately describes what all you need to know in a particular disease and how you will manage it. So this is a very good book to read. Apart from this, you can read the Master the Boards USMLE Step 3 book. And this is very similar to the Step 2 book in, the, in terms of the way of writing. And this will help you improve your concepts of internal medicine. Talking about surgery, I read most of the surgical topics from the Washington Manual of Surgery, which is a very good, short and concise book. And it accurately describes the surgical principles and the surgical pathologies. Apart from this, I read Manipal Manual of Surgery. I found this book towards the very end of my final year. But this is one of the best books I have read in surgery because it easily explains many of the surgical topics which are not available in most of the surgical textbooks. So you can consider reading this textbook from the beginning as well. 
Apart from this, Bailey and Love's Short Practice of Surgery is one of the books which I tried reading during my final year and uh, <clears throat> I came to know that this, this book is really concise but the authors have taken away important information to make this book concise. So I consider this book quite overrated and I do not recommend reading it during your MBBS years. Talking about OBS in gynecology, I considered reading textbooks of obstetrics by Dr. J.B. Sharma, who is an AIMS professor. So you can consider this book if you want to read obstetrics. The next one was gynecology and I used self-assessment and review in gynecology by Dr. Sakshi Arora Hans and hats off to this author. This is one of the best gynecology books I've ever read. This is short and it explains the concepts very well and this book helped me a lot to improve my gynecology knowledge. Talking about pediatrics, I used Essential Pediatrics which is written by two AIMS professors who are Dr. Paul and Dr. Bagga and this is a very good book in pediatrics so I highly recommend this. Next one was Park's textbook of preventive and social medicine, which I considered for PSM. And uh, during the end of my final year, I switched to preventive and social medicine review by Dr. Vivek Chan, which is a shortened version of Park's textbook. And it mentions all the important points which you need to know in PSM. So I highly recommend this book as well. After that, I used High Yield Biostarts, Epidemiology and Public Health to improve my knowledge in these subjects. And I read this book multiple times during my medical college because this is a book which will help you improve your concepts if you are going for a research project in your medical college. And this is a very, very good book to read. So try to follow its principles. Talking about ophthalmology, I've always had problems finding a good book to read of thermology and I always used to find the principles in ophthalmology difficult to understand and this book helped me solve this problem. This is a book called Undergraduate of Thermology by Dr. Vanathi who is a AIMS professor and she has mentioned the ophthalmology topics in a clear and concise way in this book. So I really like this book and I read most of my ophthalmology from this book. There were a few topics which are not there in the undergraduate ophthalmology book, which I tried to cover from Parsons diseases of eye, but still I will always go for the previously mentioned book, which is Undergraduate of Thalmology. Talking about orthopedics, I used Orthopedics Quick Review by Dr. Apoor Mehra. And this is a very good book to read orthopedics from. Along with the previously mentioned book, I read Essential Orthopedics by Dr. Maheshwari, who is again from Ames. And he has written this amazing book where he describes orthopedic principles in simple words for undergraduate students and um, this is a book which I read during my final year so you can have a look at this as well. Talking about ENT, I went for diseases of ENT by Dr. P. L. Dhingra and Dr. Shruti Dhingra and this is a complete and concise book in ENT so you can try reading this during your final year or pre-final years as well. I had trouble finding a lot of good books in psychiatry during my undergraduate years. And then I stumbled upon BRS Behavioral Science, which is one of the best books in psychiatry I've ever read. And uh, it describes principles of psychiatry, psychology and behavioral sciences. So if you read this book in detail, you will be able to get a good grasp of concepts in these subjects. The next one is dermatology and 
I went for illustrated synopsis of dermatology and STDs by Dr. Nina Khanna, who was again from AIMS, and this is a very good and detailed book about dermatology. So this is a very highly recommended book from me. So that's all about all the books which I referred to during my pre-final and final years. And um, if you have any other queries, you can contact me on my Instagram or put your queries in the comment section of this video. And I'll see you soon in another video. Thank you for watching.